ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLN. In this snack bite video, we're going to look at the feature linked to PMI inside of the NXCMM application. Before we look at the link to PMI feature, we need to review what PMI is. PMI stands for Product Manufacturing Information. NX uses the PMI or Product Manufacturing Information to display 3D annotations and dimensions in model view space. This is also referred to as MBD or Model Base Definition. So how does the link to PMI actually work inside of the NXCMM application? You have to make sure that the PMI has the correct associated objects to create the inspection paths, features, and tolerances. So let's go ahead and look at a demonstration of the link to PMI feature. So I'll go ahead and pull up a machine simulation with a part file that has authored PMI. So before we look at the PMI or link to PMI feature, let's go ahead and see how the PMI is authored. So in the part file, we have some PMI in model view space. In here, you can see that I have different model views, some that are MBD that are created based on what view and what dimensions I want to display. In the isometric view, if I select some of the dimensions, notice that I have some associated features. Now typically when you're creating these PMI dimensions, you'll notice that it's going to associate lines. So if you use the link to PMI and it has associated lines, it's going to create paths on those lines and not the faces. So we need to edit this PMI dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and double click it and change the associated objects. And I'll go ahead and select the two faces for those features. Now that our PMI is authored and I have my tolerances, I also have my basic dimensions and my datum features and I can see the associated objects. Let's go ahead here and look at the machine simulation and look how the link to PMI actually works. So inside of my machine simulation template, you'll notice I don't have any inspection paths, features, or tolerances built. And since I have the PMI authored in the model, I can take advantage of that. With just a couple clicks, I can use the link to PMI, create the paths, select the component, and then press OK. So it's going to give you some messages here. It's going to tell you some were linked and some were not. If you're using reference features, such as basic dimensions, center marks, center lines, anything like that, you're going to see that those are not linked. You don't want any tolerances on a basic dimension. So I'll go ahead and close this out. So in here you'll notice that I have my tolerances that are already built and then the features. So you'll notice there's plain features and cylindrical features. So if you did not have PMI on the model, you'd have to create these manually using these features up in the uh, ribbon bar. So notice the inspection paths are built based on the associated features or methods. Okay. So notice in the, uh, the whole paths that they're actually protruding through the part. So if you have protruding um, inspection paths, you can select the top level inspection program and run the collision avoidance. In here I can specify a safe plane to um, move to. So I'll specify it 25 millimeters above the part. And then it will optimize my path. So it'll transition between paths. It'll do my probe rotations at that safe plane. It'll also change some sensor changes and things like that. For a more in-depth video on collision avoidance, please see our later videos. So I can go ahead and close this out. Now with my paths, you'll notice my whole paths are now optimized. And now they are not colliding. And here you'll also notice that we have our tolerances built based on our associated objects and our PMI. 
That way, when we take the physical data on the part, I can pull it back in and compare it to the physical CAD model. So with just a couple clicks with the link to PMI feature, we can create an inspection ready program and then simulate it. So if you have PMI on the model, you should definitely take use of that and take advantage of the PMI and create your inspection programs with just a couple clicks. ProLim PLM.